Hi guys, I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and I finally have my Ipsy. So this is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, which is $25 a month. With your first box you get a bag and then for and then after that every third box you get a bag to go with it. Otherwise you just get five full-size products, which is kind of fun and $25 isn't that bad considering what you're getting. So, this is my second box. I was really pleased with my first one. This one, it's not that it's a bad box, it's that I already have half of these items. Okay, so let's just go and get started here. Okay, so they do include a nice big pamphlet, which is nice and it has, in, and it has information about each of the products that you're getting. So let's just go through this and we will start with the SL Miss Glam Eyeshadow Brush Trio. So these are the three brushes that you get. See the little jewels on there? They're cute brushes. I like that they're pink. I actually have a green one that I would gotten in a different Ipsy bag and it has the same little jewels. These brushes aren't bad. They're not necessarily the nicest brushes I've ever used, but they are perfectly usable. They're soft. I like the shape and density of these ones. This one is a little more flimsy, but it's not unusable. I used all three of them to do my makeup today. This is eyeshadow P15. I used it for packing on the color as well as kind of blending out. You can use the flatter side for getting like right in your crease. Um, areas like that, which is nice. I used the angled one for kind of stamping on my outer V darker color and then kind of blending it up. And it's fairly fluffy as well, which is nice. So it, it does make blending with it easy and the density is really nice. And I um, I used it under my eyes as well. This one I kind of used to, to help blend out that outer, that darker outer V color, but it's really flimsy, like I said, and so it's not necessarily my favorite, but I do think that I will get some good use out of all of these. So that was nice. I love getting brushes, and this is a pretty good trio, plus they're just super cute. Okay, the next thing in here is from Ofra. This is Rodeo Drive Highlighter. So this is one of those items that I already have. You can see the packaging difference here. This one is from a couple years ago, I guess, and I do have it on today, and it is a gorgeous, intense, highlighter. I really like Ofra highlighters and the packaging I think is cute on the new ones with the square and it has a mirror in there which is nice. The actual highlighter shape looks pretty much the same. Are these the same size? Let's see. So they both have 10 grams in them so this one looks like it's a little bit smaller but it's really not. So anyway the packaging is nice. It's a little bit heavier but it's also got a mirror in it which is great. So anyway because I already have this I will be giving this one away. I will either include it in a giveaway to you guys or you know maybe I'll just save it and give it to somebody for Christmas. <laughs> great highlighter. I just happen to already own it. Another thing that I already own is this foiled lip gloss from Makeup Geek, and this is in the color Set List, which I already own. I went to a Makeup Geek soiree thing, I think it was like around Christmas time last year, actually. I went with my sister. They had like a little pop-up store party thing, which was awesome, and anybody could go to it. It was like $20 to get in or something, and then you could buy a bunch of stuff at a discounted price, which was awesome. So get on their mailing list, and who knows, maybe they'll have a little pop-up store near you. So anyway, set list is what I have on my lips right now. It is a thicker gloss. Uh, which I actually like because it doesn't feel quite as sticky and like it's gonna smear everywhere But it's not dry at all and I love the foiled shiny Color this is the only one I own of course So I was really hoping for a different color because I do love this color But I already own it so anyway, that's another one that I'm putting in my pile to give away But you can see it is really pretty. It's really comfortable to wear. It's actually one of my favorite shimmery type lip products. This is from Tarte, and I did not have this, yay! <laughs> this is the Double Duty Beauty Make Every Moment Count palette. I don't know, is that the actual name of the palette? Anyway, it's got this big mirror over here, and then you have three blush colors. This one is a really lovely peachy tone, and it has some shimmer in it. This one is a little more, you know, like of a neutral color, and this is what I have on my cheeks today. And then this one is a really nice light 
pink shade. I have used all three of them and they are all really, really pretty. So you can see the three different shades. I really do think that they're quite pretty. When I first watched them on my hand, I was like, I don't know if those are the best colors for me, just my skin tone and everything. But on my face, I actually really like all three of them. The baby pink one isn't so, so light pink that I can't get away with it. And I really love this one, Learn. Like I said, I have this one on my cheeks today and I just think it's a really beautiful color. And then I, I like this peachy shimmery one as well. I, they're all really, really pretty. The one thing about this is that it's kind of heavy and bulky. It's not that bad. And honestly, after getting that one Urban Decay eyeshadow palette that is meant for travel and that one was so like heavy duty feeling, I feel like this is kind of in lines with that. Like this is good for traveling because it's it's so thick and sturdy, you know? I mean, yes, it's a little bulkier, it's a little heavier, but I feel like maybe you won't have to worry about it as much because it's really heavy duty. Um, and I love the big mirror on here, which is really nice. And actually, I'm gonna touch up my lipstick right now. Okay, so this was nice and I didn't already have it, which is great. <laughs> and that actually retails for $32. So right there, that's the cost of my box, so, you know, Plus I have gifts to give away to people, right? Ah, yes, okay, this is from Dr. Brandt and this is the No More Baggage, Needles No More, No More Baggage Eye Depuffing Gel. Dr. Brandt is not cruelty free, for one thing. And also, I already got this. I think it was in a BoxyCharm or something, so I already own a full size. I'm telling you guys, I already have all of these products. It's crazy. So anyway, I used it again today because I had thrown it in my box of things to give away to friends, but I pulled it out after getting it in here, and I used it today, and I still feel the same way about it. It's not that great of a product, and they're not cruelty-free. I wouldn't go out and buy it if I were you. So anyway, I mean, I guess it's fine if you get it in your bag, use it. It's not terrible, but it's not anything that I'm like, oh, if only I would wasn't cruelty free, you know what I mean? So anyway, so that is my box. I don't know, what do you guys think of the Glam Bag Plus? Have you gotten it or are you thinking about getting it? Are you on the wait list? Would you be happy if you had paid $25 for all this stuff? Honestly, the stuff in this box is really great. I mean, I own it and I, I still use those products. So I do like the products that they sent me. So I'm not complaining about that. It was just one of those irritating things like, you know, well, poor me, I have too much makeup. I'm getting repeats. Also, one thing I actually picked up with points was this little baked highlighter from Dirty Little Secret. And this is in the color Bellini. And I actually put this on my eyes today. It's the light pink color. Kind of shimmery shadow and it's pretty pigmented so it actually works really well on my eyes plus it makes a really pretty highlighter it's just that kind of baby pink shimmery color which I feel is um, at least for darker skin tones I mean I'm like a medium skin tone and I feel like sometimes it makes sort of almost like a holographic look because it is quite fair and fairly pigmented. So if you do get colors like that where you put it on as a highlighter and you're like, that does not work for me, use them as an eyeshadow. Okay, so anyway, that is my November Ipsy. I'm sorry it was so late. I literally just got my box yesterday. Let's see, today is the 28th. So. It came very late in the month. I don't know if that's just weird shipping issues or if Glam Bag Plus comes out later than the regular Glam Bag. I don't know. Did you guys get yours late? Did you get your Glam Bag like weeks ago? Let me know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.